Alright, in the bottom right playing is Nuru in the green, we have Psychoia up against Stargen playing the twins up in the red. Well, that's a your mismatch. Maybe, but I am curious to see how Psychoia can make this work. Well, the space front is a big fan of Nuru, so, you know, maybe he's onto something. <laughs> Maybe Sekoye can show us if Space Front has found something. Yeah, I, I mean... I haven't seen Sekoye play Nuru before, uh, or like since Crew of War, like 7, I think. Yeah, they are definitely not a common pick, that is for sure. Yeah, even these days, when well, she's actually not too bad. Or like, I think she's not too bad, personally. Yeah, well, it's worth noting, so this is the November event. Was there an update to her in the latest patch? Yeah, but it was minor. So her tier 2, um, on the patch this game was played, only affected Raxes. But now, with the new patch, it, aff uh, it affects all building, uh, all everything. production structures, yeah. It's really cool. Ooh, we're seeing a very aggressive line here from Psychoia. Yeah, so Nuru essentially is stronger on maps that have Nabel. Like, the more production, the stronger she is, essentially. Oh, she, she just got trapped. But of course there's a bar, so, so she can escape. Yeah, that's true, Sheds, but like, only... Only if she's able to get her tier 2 off before the game is over. And, oh, right. Know, um, that's, yeah. that's not super easy. She is still very slow, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, then... Maybe not the best, right, right. Yeah. Uh, very anyways. slow, plus very slow. Yeah, Sakura so manages to get out of that trap pretty easily. It does mean that Nur just kind of wasted a turn not doing anything. Whereas on the side of Stargen, we see twins. They're gonna knock this village down. Yeah, Stargen looks a bit better here out of the opening. It's the first time I see a CO be like semi surrounded on this map, even though it's definitely not lovable. I guess Psycho is the first to have done that in a way that it made it possible. I haven't really seen any surrounds on this map like that. As a personal fan of surrounds, I just have to point it out. <laughs> yeah, and... yeah, I mean. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, Seiko yeah, likes this weird opening where he goes for the. For his own uh, lumber mill to secure it, and then he moves to the opponent's lumber mill if it's still open. So he tends hmm. to do that. You can get fakes around it, but you always have the bars next to you. Fakes so. around it. <laughs> That's yeah. a good turn. Yeah, yeah. But I, honestly, I like the fact we have so many openings. And, and we don't have a best opening, we just have good openings for different reasons. And I really love that. Well, it's hard to be certain what the best opening is when, you know... Yeah, exactly, that's right. The map is newer and the game is newer. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody has played the best opening, but we're not... It's probably... uh, we haven't recognized it as the best Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. It's a good way to say it. Okay, we have a witch coming out from Psycho. I guess, yeah, like, dragons are out on both sides. So, I wonder if Sargent is going to respond in kind. They're pushing that harpoon up on the right hand side, so they're, they're wanting to slow push and take the tower down. That seems to be the case for them. And, they, and we don't see a cannon ship or like warship, so the twins can just continue harassing the bottom left. Yeah, they are building up a lot of groove. That's 132. Nuru is sitting on just 61. Yeah, I think Psycho doesn't like buying warships. So that's mm -hmm. interesting. Nuru has quite a bit of an army there, so she should try to push twins out. But twins have charged groups, so that's pretty good when fighting. Okay, so Nuru's actually not doing that. Just moving forward for getting the fortified village and going for the enemy lumber mill instead. That's fine, yeah, avoiding that. And Dragon picks up a knight. Oh, that's, that's not in range of the mills. No, mm -hmm. it's not. So that's actually a nice safe. Bit of damage right there. Ooh, that's that's a pretty big blunder from Starzen, unless he can trap that dragon. If only they picked the, the Lytra, not twins. Oh. <laughs> now well, it would be. 
Sergeant Sounds actually cool. finds a pick of their own and takes out a spear, so... Yeah, yeah, that, okay, that's... Even exchange yeah. on both sides, I'd say. But the knight lived and healed, and losing one unit is actually pretty... pretty nasty. Yeah. Pike is a... less Anyone? valuable unit, but it fully died, so it's close to it, and yeah. And there's a bit of threat on Koya's HQ now. Oh, see some damage coming out here. Ooh, air trooper hit from the forest onto that knight. That's actually going to do some nice damage. And Sequoia is actually just committing. Yeah, I'm just going to attack into the huge blob. Oh, and oh, okay. Oh, and they're going to kill the mage. Ooh, let's see the Nuru group. But I can't kill the mage. But they oh, they can kill the mage. Okay, that works. Oh, wow. yeah. I didn't know she can do. She can. She can do that. Okay. Yeah, so she's best. restricted to only infantry units, but uh, rifle is infantry, yeah. yeah well, <laughs> so essentially Nuri is buffed on maps that have hideout with riflemen. Okay, yeah, yeah. really cool. It's probably her best play. Unless, you know, the opponent gives you a dragon that you can snipe with the mates, I guess. Okay, tier 2. Oh, that's gonna Ooh. be pretty huge, yeah. Twins are actually very scary these days. Yeah, the tier 2 in such army confrontations, if, especially if it gets to survive for a turn or two. It's so uncomfortable to fight there, because you have to heal your units, you, you don't do full damage. And the opponent, if you don't kill the units, they actually heal, so it's terrible. Oh, big mage heal though, that's gonna... Oh, okay. oh. Ooh, dragon devil. Okay, that's painful. Yeah, that's definitely a blunder. You don't want to lose a dragon like that. Oh, nice grab on the the dog there. Didn't even see also, the frog. The rifle was able to crit the emblem, so yeah, it's gonna die. Yeah, damage. Yeah. So nothing deals too much to the rifle, uh, and everything deals the same uh, to the rifle, uh, to the emblem, lol. Uh, and everything right. deals the same, so you want to hit it with Chris, so maybe spawn it on the central line of the rifle where it gets to crit it, wasn't the best idea. What I've seen in my games is that the best way to deal with it is usually sword crits, if your show is close, of course. Otherwise it's kind of hard, but of course if they give you other kinds of crits, which tend to be easier to avoid. Um, then you can do that too. Oh, Sergeant's committed and wants to just keep reinforcing this. Is this going to be a crit? Yeah, nice sword crit on the commander. Gonna soften her up a little bit. And yeah, the emblem did fall, but Sergeant does have a lot more units in the area anyway, so. Yeah, they are definitely winning the fight there. Although there's a frog on Sakoya's side, you know? That's essentially winning the battle, right? And I do like on the right-hand side, so... Sykori said this quite a bit, that you really want to have an archer to deal with this naval, and you can see why in this case. Like, it's able to just completely soften up all these units. Oh, nice frog grab. I mean, right after Seds talked about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the frog can really change stuff like that. Like, it can give you free hits with a dragon, for example. Yeah? Yeah, that was really That's good. Huge. Yeah, if you're up against a frog, you basically have to keep things to you, like a not just like within range of the mage, but like even closer yeah. than that. So, the frog is so much good, so much value. It's like it's basically like the Caesar groove effect, like the enemy units, or like um, no nitro groove effect. No, no, right, uh, Ryota, sorry, Ryota tier two. It removes movement from the opponent essentially. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a good way of yeah, putting yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Right. Although I guess Lytra can also move things out of the way. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. And she's pretty fast too. Okay, I will. this pressure on the right hand side. Psycho is taking so much of the economy. Ooh, hit something with a rifle. I didn't quite see what it was. Ooh, yeah, that's a big uh, asymmetry with uh, naval the fronts. Psycho has like the archer and a bunch of swords there to defend his villages. And Sedshan wasn't able to push that far. Although right, you he's still... Sergeant? Oh, wait. Sedshan. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm I was like, like, wait, what? Okay. I'm, I'm, 
<laughs> Maybe it's in the beach. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of sleepy. Confused for a second. All right. Uh, well, it says I'm still on the call. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm yeah, in the area. Says, Ooh, leaves a unit in the balloon. That's next to a harpoon and a witch. Oh, that's so much. Depends on what the unit is in the balloon. It's a spear. I think actually the witch could just go and knock it down. I think. I think it's within range. Hmm. Oh, it's juicy to kill two units in one. I would go for it personally. I would yeah, be like too. two units for one. I'm absolutely all about that. Value wise, it's actually worse than actually no wait. 150 plus 450, 600, and which is 60, 650. Well, oh yeah, it doesn't, doesn't actually one shot, unfortunately. Oh. Rife gets pulled by the frog again. Oh yeah. This is in every Seiko game. We need more maps where frogs are viable. We'd love to see it. I mean, that's every map with a frog on it, technically. <laughs> That's true, so let's just rephrase. We need more maps with frogs, essentially. Oh, and a second frog You've comes been working out. on that. <laughs> Wait, what, Maestro? You've been working on that, right? Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I, we have Gilgamesh, we also have Headland. There's some good stuff. Yeah, for people who don't know, uh, Setson has been porting Wargroove maps over to Wargroove 2 and adding frogs. Yeah, essentially. So, all the great maps, adding... Frogs makes them even more spicy, so. I want to ask the port shifting sands over soon. Oh, the balloon goes down. Yeah. But yeah, that harpoon very, ship is probably gonna dead. die. Yeah. Very dead harpoon. Yeah, it's oh, okay, so. Price it's like we're going in very deep here. Yeah, well, I guess Nuru does have groove, so. There's oh, a lot okay, of options. Just, just picking off the mages, essentially. Oh, is that all the mages? I yeah, said too. I think that's all the mages. But there's is, one yeah. in the, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's one in the back, but like, not, not active. Yeah, Psycho so loves sniping the mages if he can. And that's enough init initiate for him to start attacking. Yeah, and who? Harpoon? Yeah, it's. And that actually that's opens up Psycho to go air on the right hand side again. Alright. Oh, so yeah, and yeah, builds another dragon, which <laughs> pulls frog the frog. Pulls the frog. And now they're kissing, alright. Oh, that's cute actually. <laughs> I'm convinced that's, that's the only uh, reason they've done that. Certified Sega oh, yeah, moment. Yeah. Oh, is the knight gonna fall? Yep. Okay, yeah. Okay, so and the mage will mage. find Yeah. I mean this Oh there oh there was a mage, I didn't see that. Uh it got blocked by the bards and the knight, but Stazen was able to clear both of them, so Yeah, so that wasn't the best attack from Sakura. Oh. I mean, he was still able to get a bunch more stuff, so okay. maybe yeah, but now we have... Oh, yeah, now it's terrible. Yeah. For Sakoya. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Oh, it kills the dragon. Yeah, he wanted to finish the dragon. Oh, that's cool. He could have gone for more damage, but... Like, I'm putting sure. it, like, in, in the middle of that, just damaging everything. Even if the emblem dies, just, like, double hex. I love the damaging the neutral building. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just this is more of like a visual thing than anything else, but. Oh, Emblem took a rifle crit again. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, rifles are kind of hard to dodge when in the middle of the fight. And I mean, with the frogs, even if you place it somewhere else. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's dangerous. I think it's a bit too vulnerable to go down this turn, though. Like, if you charge something into that, it's gonna die. So. Mm, yeah. But it's also, you know, not in the most threatening spot where you must get... Oh, and those river boats are doing so much work. What? Yep. Alright, Dragon finally gonna be able to clear this oh, up. Has to go completely off the map just to clear something like that. It's annoying. Yeah, and builds the sword to help. Ooh. Pulling a hard point shift. Yeah, fast to reinforce. Makes sense. That's a pretty long game, lol. That's Unit an count. amazing game. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, they're like, basically... Neither player can really get a huge advantage, like... There was somewhat of an advantage over on the right- on the left-hand side for Sequoia, but... I think he really needed to get the Harpoon ship on top of the tower to just shut that down. Oh. Big Witch Hex. Could be mm, the opening to something again. bigger. Knight Crit. Takes out okay, a Knight. 
archer down. Oh, mage down. Goes side. for the mage, yeah. I mean, that opens up air, so. Yeah, yeah. Takoya loves Ooh. doing that. Yeah, Golem kind of trap. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's massive. Golem going in. Yeah, well, there was like, quest he has two golems. Two. Ooh, good Maybe. use of the frog. Pulls the rifle into the right position. Nuru is right. extremely close to tier 2, by the way. We might actually get to see it. Ooh. What happened to Sergeant's second golem? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's separated. <laughs> I was confused. When it's next to Shio, the other is kind of trapped. Oh, and, and now Sakura is bringing all of his army into the middle and just fighting. It's pretty interesting that Sakura is just uh, waiting for tier 2 and not just uh, helping the fight with the group. But tier 2 is going to be pretty massive, I guess. Yeah, for a unit plus, then you can buy two golems. I hadn't seen that combination before, but it's actually really smart. You go for the sword hit first, and then golem plus commander will finish off a golem. And then actually, yeah, just oh, mage yeah. shield. That's actually really smart. Yeah, you just sack one sword, get a kill on a golem. Yeah, it's good. The commander is standing next to the beach style, though. Is Ah, uh, nah, there's no kill here. I don't Are see. you sure? There's a witch too. Oh, uh, actually, I'm not so sure. Now that they left it above open. And there's Nuru Groove and Rifle. Yeah, this is dead. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, uh, yeah, they left the above open. I think um, you can actually clear the knight above as well. Yeah, so that's dead. Uh, okay, oh. never mind, not dead. It's versus Seiko, yeah, like, he's not gonna go for a lethal. He never yeah, does. He oh, like or it. maybe he will, actually. Uh, no. I don't think he you, will. You yeah. might still be... Nah. Okay, okay, so knight? No, no knight. No, there's no knight. No, you can't get or... knight. <laughs> Just a spearman. Yeah, well, he oh, wants you... to keep all the money so he can do big... Wow, well, four spearmen there. Th that's such a neat formation. Two frogs in the, in the bottom. Like we're probably oh, gonna see just... double golem come out this turn. Yep. Yeah, nice, nice. That, that's juicy. I mean, it doesn't even matter. He killed so much army. Yeah, don't don't little, just little the army. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you can build two golems on your turn and still have money left over, then I you think you don't need to go for a lethal. Or... You can actually buy a harpoon. Or, I mean, a harpy, if you want. Four, four eighty gold. And your yeah, yeah. just like, nah. Nuru tier 2 ends the game. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I that's mean first time for everything, right? Yeah. I mean, there was little there for sure. Anyway. I think so. Yeah, but like, you know. Why calculate it if you can just calculate trading better, right? That's a psychoia mindset, I think. Sometimes uh, the, the greater victory is crushing your opponent's spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Make them. Lethal themselves, don't do it. Yeah. I mean, I, I think there was a lot going on there, but one of the big differences I noticed was the archer on the right-hand side versus no proper naval defense on the left-hand side for Sturgeon. And Sykoya was able to just push uncontested for the most part and hold the right-hand side, keep those villages, like, or at least like, keep Sturgeon away from like pushing too deeply. And but yeah, on the right. flip side, uh, because there was Archer and some units on the right hand side to defend the naval push from Sekoya, um, and Sturgeon didn't do that. Sturgeon was instead able to have more unit count on his offensive uh, CO front, and because of that, was able to secure both lumber mills on the land side and like also one more village. So it was almost kind of even in that yeah. way. Right. Yeah, that's true. I will also say Sturgeon, not Sturgeon, Sykoya had a great use of frogs that game as well. Yeah. It's definitely and... case. They're able to pick off so many units with rifle yeah, plus frog yeah. and able to do so many cool kills with pulls. Able to use their, his dragon to like snipe a unit and then pull it to safety. Yeah, free heating with the knight with the dragon. And he got a lot back. of hits with uh, the dragon and he got a lot of hits with the rifle, mainly on emblems. And that was very important against twins. Like, if if the rifle Sekoya summoned on the first groove never existed, the game would have been a lot different. Like, those emblems would have made any fights really, really, really difficult. As in, maybe his HQ would have fallen. Yeah, the emblems are... Um, the second emblem I would have just put in, in the middle of Sekoya's army to, like, damage everything. Um, because it was gonna die anyway in two turns, so might as well. 
Yeah, like, I think you could have put it one tile deeper and still hit the dragon with it. Yeah, we're just completely in, in the middle and like hit the golem in the forest, hit the commander, hit, hit the witch, everything. And yeah, I, think, I think Sarzun was afraid of it dying, but yeah, he should have just accepted it. it was yeah, I mean, die it could have died anyway, right? So yeah. like... And then one tile uh, further down would have hit the golem too, which is a really big hit because, you know, it's flat 20, so you want to hit you want to hit expensive units like golems. Yeah, essentially it's a free double hex. Yeah. I but it can be so much more if it survives, right? So... If it survives, but like, you know, in, in the situation, I don't see a good option for it to survive and still be, you know, worth fighting around. I think you want to build walls differently and just like... Wall it properly without it being in the rifle's line of sight. That's, but that's true. Like... You could you could do it, but I guess starting at this like point, it. I'm not saying like tweak one move. I'm saying like play your formation completely differently for one two turns. Right? Have a different mindset about the battle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, well played to Sequoia and Starjin put up a good fight as well. We're gonna go into the next game. Amazing first match.